Did you know that there's a way that you can completely color grade a photo in a matter of minutes in Photoshop? I'm gonna show you in this video how to use color lookup tables to create bangers. What's up everyone, Josh here. I am joshrussell.com and it's been a while since I made one of these tutorial sit down videos. And what I thought is I'm gonna make one teaching you how I create my bangers. Now, I can't take full credit for it because I do use what's called lookup tables, color LUTs. Specifically, I use my good friend Glenn Dewis's color lookups. If you don't know who Glenn Dewis is, he is a portrait photographer in the UK, Westcott Top Pro. And what I've done is I've taken his LUTs and created my own style with them. And this is what I'm gonna teach you. Now, to follow along in this video, you're gonna wanna go and download Glenn Dewis's lookup tables. I have left a link in the description as well as a coupon code to save you a little bit of money. If you use that code, I make a small kickback too because I've partnered with Glenn to get these out there. So what I want you to do is I want you to go download these lookup tables, follow along. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to take this photo and turn it into this photo in a matter of five minutes or less. Now there are a couple little tweaks you need to do to it, but overall it's really simple to do. So let's go ahead, let's get into it right now. I'm gonna show you the complete step-by-step -step on how to do it. Let's go over into Photoshop. So like I said, this is the photo that we're working with and I'm gonna show you how to take this photo right here and turn it into this photo in a matter of minutes. It's really, really easy if you follow along. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this one so it's out of the way. We have a fresh photo right here. We're going to create a new layer. Now, once you've downloaded those LUTs, you do need to install them into Photoshop. There are a ton of videos online and I'm pretty sure that there are instructions in the download when you download them on how to do it. So once they're installed in your Photoshop, that's where we can get to work. So I've created a new layer. So what I'm gonna do once I get to this point, I'm gonna go and hit filter, camera raw filter. And what I wanna do is I wanna add a little bit of grittiness and punch to this photo. I know a lot of people are gonna yell at me for using the clarity slider because you're not supposed to use it. It messes up the photo and adds noise. It's okay. I'm making a gritty photo. I'm okay with noise. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bring that up a little bit. And we don't wanna bring it all the way up and make it like really crazy. Let's bring it to like 70-ish percent. And then we're also gonna bring the dehaze up a little bit. Bam. I know. It looks weird, it looks muddy. Trust the process, okay? Go ahead, hit okay. Okay, so now we're gonna start adding our lookup tables. Really, really, really easy to do. If you don't see adjustments right here, because this is what we're gonna need to work in, you're gonna go Windows and just hit Adjustments and it'll pop up. We're gonna go down here and we're gonna find lookup, color lookup. Once we've done that, then we can start adding our color lookup and it's as easy as going load Load 3D LUT, and then finding the one you want to work with. Now, Glenn Dewis's are all the ones that say Dewis on them when you put them in there. If by chance they don't show up or you haven't installed them, you can go here and just click Load LUT, and it'll load your uh, your browser, and you can find them in the download folder or wherever they are. But I have them here. So I'm going to go ahead and add this 1941. I love this look. I love how uh, vintage sepia it makes this photo look. So that's what we're going to work with. We're gonna work with that. Uh, but as you can see, the whole photo itself has it. It looks fine, but I wanna bring some of his skin tone back. By the way, this is Bruce. Bruce was an amazing model, incredible to work with. Can't wait to work with him again. He's down in Milwaukee. If you're looking for a professional beard model, hit up Bruce Campbell, Bruce City, Bruce Campbell on Instagram. So here we are but I wanna bring some of the skin color back. So what I wanna do is I wanna hit this little cheeseburger stack right here in the right corner and go new group from layers. And we're gonna just name this color. So now what I've done is I've taken this color lookup right here and I've added it to its own folder. But what I wanna do with that folder is create a mask on that around his skin. And the way you do that is you just hit the little circle square. Now we've created a mask on here. We're gonna go with our black brush and we're gonna go in and just paint over his skin. So we'll just make our brush a little bit bigger. Now, if I was doing this for an actual portrait or corporate work or commercial work or anything like that, I would take my time a little bit more on this for the purpose of this video not being insanely long. I'm gonna go pretty quick on it. And then we'll get his mouth here and then we'll go down here and his fingers are showing. So I wanna get those too. All right. Other fingers aren't showing because his hand is clenched. Now we're at the point where the skin is showing, but now the skin is showing too much. I don't like that much skin showing. 
So what we need to do is we need to bring down the density of it, the density of the mask. And basically what that is is the strength of how much of the mask you're seeing. So if we're at 100%, you see the full mask. If we're at zero, you see no mask. So we need to kind of find a middle ground where the skin is showing, but it's not really changing the way that it looks. It doesn't stand out too much. And that's what we're looking for right here, right about 70%. So now that we've got our mask on there and we've got our color lookup in there, now we have this folder where we can just keep adding color lookups to it. So let's go ahead and add another one. And the way we're gonna do that is we're just gonna go to adjustments, hit color lookup and find another one that we wanna use. And we'll just kind of look through here and see what we find that we like. So I wanna go with this Nathan one. I really like the way that this looks. It's really giving it that like grittiness, um, ghost rider feel to it. So this is where it's at. And you can see that we have now created a photo with a LUT color grade, two real easy steps. Add your LUT, mask it out, good to go. But I wanna go a little bit further with this photo and just kind of add a little bit of depth to it. And the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna do a gradient map. We hit gradient map and you can see that it's black on one side, white on the other, that's what I wanted. If it's not, you'll need to go in and you'll need to find your basics folder and do that. But this is where I want it. I wanna take it and I wanna change that to darker color. And you can see that this is still in that folder. So it's still connected to that folder. What I need to do now is I need to go and I need to bring the opacity down on that. And what I've done is I've just added a little bit of crunch to it. We're living at about 30% on that. Now, because I added that, it's brought it too dark for me. What I wanna do is I wanna close this folder and add one more layer, which would be curves. And we'll go ahead and we'll create our three dots here, like we always do. Bring our shadows up a little and then bring our midtones up just a tad. And then if you want, you can go down here and add that matte look by grabbing this blacks right here and bring that up just a little. I wouldn't do too much. I like the way that this photo looks like that. Uh, I am also gonna add another layer, which would be vibrance, just so I can bring some color back to it. And there we go. So now all of this is in one. I'm gonna put that all in one folder so you guys can see it. And from there, you got this stock photo right out of camera into this dramatic portrait of Bruce looking gritty and grimy and just incredible. Go have fun with this, go play, try all the color lookups. Now you don't necessarily need to use Glenduises. This is just the style that I gravitate towards. You could go online and you can find color lookup tables of every style, cinematic and light and airy and everything. So just go find the niche that you want, find the style that you're looking for download those LUTs, install them, and start playing around. It's all about masking and layering and finding a happy medium with everything. So it's layering, masking, make sure your skin is not too muddy with the background. That's how you get it to stand out. So I hope this video helped you. If it did, please consider watching this video right here or this video right here. It would definitely make me very happy to know that I am teaching you. Please consider hitting the subscribe button because I drop videos like this all the time. I'll talk to you guys later in the next video. Peace.